Amanda. I'm the real estate advisor. Welcome to the Budapest Real Estate Club. As you know, I usually provide lots of information about how to purchase the property in Hungary. Today we have a very exciting moment. I would like to introduce you to the very knowledgeable real estate investor. The Ari Kursus came to Hungary from Finland more than 17 years ago and he ran his real estate investment projects for many, many years. Ari, hello. Hello, hello. I would like you to tell us your personal story about how you actually came to Hungary and how you started this project and what is behind of it. Can you tell us your personal story a little bit? Yes, yes, with pleasure. Uh, I came to Hungary more than 17 years ago uh, as a tourist for three days only. I was living in Warsaw and I took the train, night train to, uh, to Budapest and uh, 8 o'clock in the morning when the uh, train arrived to Kennedy railway station it took me only 15 minutes when I fell in love with the building of the Kennedy uh, uh, railway station and uh, I just fell in love with the Budapest in three days time. I decided to stay for two weeks, then I went back to Warsaw when I was living and uh, after two weeks staying in, in Warsaw again, I decided to move to Hungary instead of uh, Finland. And uh, after half a year being here in Budapest, enjoying all the cultural activities here, I couldn't move anywhere. And so since that I've been here. And um, that those times the apartments, uh, the rental fees for the renovated apartments were quite high. And uh, I was thinking that why do I pay the high rent uh, for the apartment? Because uh, with the same money I can cut the loans. So I contacted the Finnish bank, I took the loan, 100% loan, and I bought my first apartment in 2000, uh, in January. And, uh, it was a, a quite nice apartment in the Jewish quarters in the 7th uh, district, 150 square meters. It was rented at once uh, to the company from Monaco and the rent, rental fee, as I mentioned, they were quite high those times. So I could pay that uh, loan back. Then I contacted the Finnish bank again and I took another loan and uh, bought another apartment uh, where I live myself since 2000. And uh, this is, and I'm a collector. I <laughs> started somehow collecting these uh, classical apartments. I sold uh, uh, my properties one by one in Finland and invested the money uh, here. And uh, yeah, since that I've been, I've been very happy with the real estate properties in the market here. Actually, to everybody, I would like to tell you a little secret. Ari not just property investor. He became this very noble idea. Because everybody of us who is here, we become not only in love with the uh, rigorous architecture, we also become in love with the culture yes. of the Budapest. Yes. And uh, now actually uh, we are in the Ari's very exciting project. It's the Ari Kupsus Art and uh, Antique Gallery. Ari, please can you tell a little bit about how you become this, this noble idea of the gallery and what is behind your story about it? Um, what is the really point? How is you really created such a noble idea as to bring a lot of very talented young artists? to represent the masterpieces to the public? Well, um, that story actually started in 1999 when I founded my charity organization in Helsinki. I organized a classical concert in my residence monthly and with the income donations I uh, collected the scholarship funds. Here in Hungary, when I decided to stay here, at the, uh, it was 2000, yes, I uh, studied first 
I made a contract, a supporting contract with the Listeres Academy of Music and started to collect funds for the uh, Hungarian students, uh, music students of the Academy. Uh, 2009, I decided to open my own art gallery and I extended uh, the, the support uh, to the uh, uh, Cape Sud University Atem, which is the uh, Academy of Fine Arts. And, uh, but why I opened uh, my own gallery? I was in touch and I knew uh, some artists here, young artists, who had difficulties, of course, financial difficulties, as we can imagine in Hungary and for Eastern Europe. Um, and I started to support them also uh, the other way. When I had bought some of my properties, and uh, which were in bad condition, and at the, that moment I didn't have the funds to renovate them at once, I gave them for the artist as a workshop. Uh, for years, uh, they were using my, my, some of my apartments as a studios, uh, workplaces, where they were uh, creating the arts. And of course, uh, as I'm a foreigner, I have plenty of foreigners uh, uh, coming here to visit me. I have been living in the six different countries, and especially from Finland, uh, people are coming. And uh, I was showing them the, uh, the studios and the workshops, and they were also buying some paintings. And uh, this was the start actually to have the gallery uh, because we were quite successful with my, my uh, visitors, and the artist pushed me to uh, create, to open a gallery. And this was actually the short story why I have the Arikopsus Gallery at the moment in Budapest. The gallery is in palace quarters of Budapest. Uh, the, the address is Prodishan 23 per B. And uh, Facebook page is called, of course, Arikopsus Gallery. Web page Arikopsus Gallery.com. Welcome.